Good morning to you all on this wonderful Wednesday. And now we're in August, so hopefully in a few weeks' time we'll get to feel the spring sunshine again. Today I want to talk to you about the first verse of Psalm 121. It says, I lift my eyes to the mountains, where will my help come from? And you can read the whole of Psalm 121 when you're on your own. It's a stunning, awesome example of how the Lord is with you and how he will carry you. But I only want to talk to you about verse 1 today. Now in verse 1 it says, I look up to the mountains. And we usually think of mountains as negative things in a spiritual way. So he says, I'm at the foot of the mountain and I look up to the mountains and the mountains are very big and they're very scary and they're right in front of him and he can't see a way to go around them he must go over them so how do you do that you take the first step by going over this mountain but when I lift my eyes and I look towards the mountains I will also lift my eyes to look higher than the mountains in front of me because who made the mountains Who created the mountains out of nothing, these molds of earth? And who made you? God. God is also in charge of the mountains. And as he made you, he also knows you intimately. He also knows the mountain intimately. Now, Psalm 121, it starts by David saying, this is a a psalm about a pilgrimage. This is a pilgrimage journey. And I looked up in Wikipedia, what does pilgrimage mean? It's a journey, often into the unknown or a foreign place to travel or to wander. Now, don't you agree that we are also just doing a pilgrimage on earth? We are just pilgrims because we are wandering on this earth and we're on this journey. We know where we are going, but we're going through foreign places. We're going over unknown mountains. We're going through valleys that we don't know how and what and when we are supposed to be dealing with. So this is unknown territory. It is foreign for us, especially if you look up to this mountain. You don't know what lies on top of the mountain. You don't know what you're going to encounter as you go onto the mountain. Because obviously in olden times and now, unfortunately as well, there can be wild animals on the mountain. It can be a very dangerous place. There can also be robbers there or people trying to attack you because they want to steal things from you. And that is why the psalmist looked up to the mountains and he thought, how am I going to get over this? I know this is in front of me. I have to go over this mountain. And where will my help come from? My help comes from the God who made everything on earth and in heaven. And he made this mountain. How amazing is that? God knows the mountain and he will help you to put your one foot in front of the other. To start getting over this mountain. Because if you just stand at the foot of the mountain and look up to it, it looks dangerous and it looks like you wouldn't be able to do anything. It is too big. You cannot overcome it. But as soon as you start walking and you know and you realize that God is with you, then you'll be able to do it step by step. So this is challenging. It's uphill. It's dangerous. That is what you think of when you look at mountains in a spiritual way. But also, to take this climb, we must look higher than the mountain. Who is this God who created the mountains? Who is this God who created everything that you see in front of you? Who is God, the God who loves you so much that he sent you his only son so that you'll be able to have life on earth but also life in eternity in heaven with him? That is the God who made this mountain that's standing in front of you. So the mount can also become a very majestic place, a meeting place between you and God, especially when you look in the Old Testament few of the prophets, Moses and Elijah, also went up to the mountain and that's where they actually met God face to face. They were talking to him. In Elijah, God came as a whisper. But in the time of Moses, when he got the Ten Commandments on the mountain, it was with a rumble and thunder and fire and wind and the people looking um, 
at the mountain, who stood at the foot of the mountain, got so scared, the Israelites, they actually ran away. And they told Moses, no, you must go up alone to meet with God. We don't want to do this now. So what will wait for you at the top of your mountain? Always a meeting place with God. Because God will take you up the mountain step by step. But then he will meet with you on top of that mountain. Remember, in the New Testament, Jesus also sat on the mountain and he preached. He gave us lovely things that he told and that he taught everybody, the disciples and the people who followed him. And he was sitting on the mountain while he was teaching this. So it can be an overwhelming thought when you look at this mountain. It can feel overbearing. It can feel um, that you're emotionally not ready or physically not ready. This is uphill. It's an unknown climb because you don't know what you will encounter as you go up this mountain. This dangerous place, this unknown territory, this foreign unknown place, maybe of sickness or of emotions, physical, spiritual, emotional damage. But God will be with you. God will hold your hand. This battle or this pilgrimage as you start going up this mountain may start with you in a place of hurt or in a place of bitterness. Or it can start just by thinking you want to get to this place of self-discovery. But it will always change you when you go up this mountain with God. And when you look down, if you're on top of the mountain, things won't look the same as when you started at the bottom of the mountain. Because this journey changed you going up through this valley and going up, up with God up this mountain. So when you lift your eyes and you look at your mountains in front of you, lift your eyes also higher than the mountain to the one who created this mountain, to the one who will never forsake nor leave you, to the one who will hold your hand and make sure that your foot will not slip. Go and read Psalm 121. It's an awesome psalm. But remind yourself of this mountain, this foreign unknown territory. God knows this territory already. He's there. You don't have to be afraid. He's with you until the end of time and then forevermore. So the insurance is, God is my helper. He is with me. He will not forsake me. This promise is yours as well as mine. If you look up to the mountains, you lift your eyes, you know where your help will come from. Amen.